Hello and welcome to this new edition of News Insurances Weekly. We are Monday, October the 17th, and here are the headlines. Fitch Ratings has downgraded Italian insurer Generali to negative from stable. Clara Hughes, director at Fitch Ratings, speaks about equivalency for the Solvency II regime in the U.S. Jesus Carmona, AXA Travel Insurance CEO, outlines the company's focus for 2012. Fitch Ratings has revised Italian insurer Generali's outlook to negative from stable. If the Italian sovereign ratings were further downgraded, then the company's ratings would also be likely to be downgraded. Indeed, Generali's ratings are closely linked to that of Italy's, as the company holds 51 billion euro worth of government bonds. Oppositely, Generali's outlook could be revised to stable if Italy's sovereign rating would also be revised. Clara Hughes, director at Fitch Ratings, outlines for news insurances how the U.S. will adapt to the new Solvency II regime. Let's listen to Clara Hughes. America has a solvency regime which has been in place for I think 120 years, something, something along those lines. It's been there for a long time. And about 20 years ago they made some changes in order to introduce risk-based capital. It's not quite calculated in the same way as Solvency 2. It's less market consistent. It's more stable over time, but it still takes into account the risks on the asset side and the liability side of the balance sheet. So the big question for Solvency 2, for, com for companies writing business both in America and in Europe, is equivalence. This refers to the treatment of the regulatory capital held by companies in America by European countries, by European companies. So if a company is writing business in Europe and has to hold Solvency II capital, this could be tricky if it's got an American parent. If a company is writing business in the US and has a European parent, if it has to hold Solvency II capital, this could put it at a big disadvantage compared to other players in the market. What is likely to happen, in our opinion at Fitch, is that there will be an agreement on equivalence. As I said, this regime has been in place for a long time and it is not perfect, but at the same time, it's reasonably robust. So it's likely there will be some agreement to move the two regimes to equivalence. The NAIC has begun negotiations and discussions with the European Parliament and, and Council, and they are working together in order to come to an agreement on this. The NAIC is bringing in some Pillar 3 measures, something equivalent to the ORSA. So it's likely that there will be some sort of agreement on a political level. Jesus Carmona, AXA Travel Insurance CEO, outlines his company's focus for 2012. Let's listen to Jesus Carmona. In terms of uh, uh, the expectation for 2012, uh, there are two kinds of expectations. The first one is to continue implementing, rolling out uh, the model, the travel business model, the business unit, uh, the travel business unit model, and that started la last year and is going to be important in 2011 and will continue in 2012, which is all the stuff around uh, defining the right level of uh, offering, uh, being close to the market and anticipating the new needs uh, coming to this market, and also uh, to implement the changes in terms of the operational expertise and the operation operational excellence. Now, for 2012, also in terms of business, uh, we are very focused on developing uh, new businesses in the emerging countries, which makes sense at group level as well, and not just at the AXA assistance group level, but I would say at the AXA group level. And one of the key priorities for us is to really uh, become one of the biggest players in the near future, in a two, three, four years time, uh, in those countries. Thank you very much for your attention. That is all for this week's edition. Tune in to newsinsurances.co.uk for this week's exclusive video interview. Goodbye.